Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to clean the needles or fix your Cuisinart coffee maker. So this is the foreign one, it's got the steam wand. We can also do Nespresso pods and K-cups. I'm going to show you how to remove the needles, get them all nice and clean. So if you're doing an espresso or a K-cup and nothing's coming out, I'm going to show you how to fix that. I also have a separate video on how to fix if your clean lights are on. you got a clean light for the the Nespresso side and you got a clean light for the coffee maker side. I've got a video to show you how to descale it to get those clean lights to go out. Okay, I've got the unit unplugged to make sure this is all nice and cooled down because we're gonna be touching it. First, let's do the cake up. We can remove this lower needle, then we're gonna do the top needle. Now simply just kind of grab it and pinch it and the needle basket's gonna lift up. The sharp needle is down inside there. So you're gonna take this, this bottom part comes off, rotate it to the to the right, yeah, that's right, to the right. Turn it to the right and it just comes off. Take your paper clip, you're gonna insert it here and it should go all the way through the needle, get this all nice and clean. Take this over to the sink, use a brush. These things get really dirty. And same with this part down here. Take this to the sink, rinse this all out. Even these little pie shapes, you'll be surprised how dirty these get. When you're done, line up the grooves and then rotate it to the left. Make sure this is in nice and solid. Line up the white arrow, the white arrow, the white arrow, and it should snap into place. Now the K-cup, we've got this little... Now you don't have to, but you can remove this rubber piece. Just gently kind of pull it out. This rubber piece will come. This needle's right there. Now you're going to take your paper clip. The, the opening's on the back side. You're going to stick it in, rotate the paper clip, kind of go in a bunch. Don't force it though. You could uh, damage it inside there. Just kind of, you may have to do this three or four times. Do a fresh water rinse, open it back up. I have had to do this about three times before. You'll get coffee grounds in there. So just kind of rotate it in. Again, right there's the opening. Again, it goes in about that far. When you're done, this concave side goes towards the cake up. That's what it looks like. So just press this in. You got to work it around there, but it should go nice and flush and the needle should be exposed just like that. Now the Nespresso side, I've not had to take these screws out. I have had to just kind of take a brush up here and kind of get this all nice and clean. Now this bottom one does know, of course you can take this piece out, get this all nice and clean, but the, where it pierces it is down here. Now you can take this out, just kind of pry that up where that little notch is. Get you a little screwdriver and just kind of pry up and that little piece will come out. Take this over to the sink and get this all nice and clean. I have had some foil kind of get in those grooves. You gotta really kind of clean it. Now you can use a smaller, there are holes there, but it takes a smaller than a paper clip to kind of clean those out. When you're all done, we're gonna insert it. Now the way you insert it is the ridges go up. The circles go down. Now you're gonna kind of sit it there. This isn't sharp. You can press it down. Make sure it's nice and flush and that little groove goes in that little groove and this should be nice and flush. It may kind of like snap into place, but there's how it looks. Okay, now you're gonna close this. You're gonna do a fresh water rinse. Do it on the espresso side, do like a, a double shot, and then do it on the K-cup side. Do, do it about two or three times. You should have nice clean water coming out. It'll be dirty kind of at first, but I like to do both sides, fresh water rinses, rinses about once a week. Now, if your steam wand's not working, be careful, this can be hot too, but take that outer sleeve off. We can undo this, and this can clog up. And there's just a little point there. You get a paper clip, you can get this all nice and clean. There's an O-ring, and then you can put this back. If your add water light's not working, this is a float that goes up and down. Make sure that that float moves up and down with the water. When you've got water in it, that metal thing should move up. That activates the sensor in there. So if that's not working, you may have to put some vinegar in here, let it soak, get this all nice and clean. Again, be sure and check out my other video on how to descale it. If you could, underneath the video, give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my YouTube channel. I hope this video helps. Thanks, everybody, for watching.